Hey, it's Brian again, creator of the subject, uh, currently working on Welcome to the Game the Recruit and Our Secret Below. A number of people have been asking me in my Twitch streams primarily, but also through Twitter and email and things like that, how I learned to program. They ask me if I've gone to a school or if I've done tutorials or, or if there's uh, certain online courses that I went to. But the truth of the matter is, is I've been an artist my entire career. I didn't know how to program up until about a year, year and a half ago, something like that. And I had put it off for longer than I should have because I didn't learn programming because I didn't have the time, but I didn't want to go and make indie games without knowing how to program. So there was this sort of chicken or the egg kind of thing. The best thing to do is just start, just start learning small things. So what I highly recommend doing, and this is just for me, it's, it's different for everybody. But uh, find something small that you want to do. I use, I use Unity. You can use whatever engine you want, whatever language you want. But uh, I highly recommend just going for a specific thing that you want to do. Not a game, not a whole concept or anything. Just I want to be able to click a button and have a, an image show up on screen. And only focus on that. And the way I did something like that was I found something I wanted to do and I went and researched it online. I just went to, I'm using Unity, so I did C Sharp, Unity, uh, making an object move, something like that. Now what I would do is either uh, write the code down myself, just copying what I see, uh, or I would actually take that snippet of code, put it in the game, and sort of reverse engineer it. Get it, uh, sort of begin to understand it. Now, what I want to stress here is that you really shouldn't be taking snippets of code from all over the internet and patchworking them together to make your game. The big problem with that is you're not learning anything. So you may stick together a bunch of different pieces of code, get a functioning game, but then you have no idea what the code is actually doing. So if you put the game out and someone says, hey, I found a bug in your game, you're not going to be able to troubleshoot what's happening in your own game to try and fix those problems. So very helpful to just go take code and learn from it, reverse engineer it, hands-on approach for uh, understanding how the code works. Do not just use it and, and call that finished. Like I said, this is an approach for me. Uh, I'm really hands-on. Simply going to uh, Unity sites or other sites that uh, that talk about their APIs and their, their things that are accessible to the user, uh, those alone have been enough for me to scrape something together. And, and if you feel like it's too difficult, it's too complex, you're not math-oriented, you're not technical-minded, um, don't think that because I managed to take these scraps of brain that I have and and patch them together and figure out how to program. Now, like I said, I've got a long way to go, uh, but I'm I'm a creative person. I'm an artistic person. So going directly into programming was was daunting, but it's possible. You can do it. And uh, and I really honestly believe that any any skill can be obtained with enough drive. In my mind, there's there's no such thing as talent. Uh, you know, people come in and say, oh, you're a really talented artist or something like that. Those are, those are skills you build over time. So don't look up at the challenge of learning to code or learning to make art or just game development and design in general and see it as some sort of mythical, hard to achieve uh, golden place. It's It just, works like anything else. You have to start at the bottom and work your way up. So that's it. Really short one. Good luck. Bye, everybody. See you next time.